Hey everybody, this is Tony Rouser with ESP Guitars. We are here in Clisson, France for Hellfest 2022. I'm with my good buddy Daniel DK from Exciter. Daniel, how are you doing, bro? I'm excellent, man. I'm out here at this insane heavy metal wonderland. It's like an adult's playground, and we're out here shredding ESP guitars. It's yeah, awesome. It's, it is awesome. And you guys played yesterday on the altar stage, and it was sweltering hot. And you rocked a couple new guitars that you were playing. You had the new, the brand new SD2, Fuck which, yeah, which fits you very, very well, yeah. I might add. But uh, yeah, it was crazy hot on stage. How the how the guitars hold up for you? How do you like that new one? The the guitars. I mean, there's a reason why I use them, and it's because you can take an emergency last minute flight to land in France on the hottest day of the year and get to the stage and basically pull it out in the sweltering heat and strum it, and it's perfect. Uh, it's it's a warrior. That guitar is a heavy metal warrior. That SD2 is indestructible, and it's as mean as it looks. I fucking love it. Sammy Sammy makes a, a fucking a to spec guitar that fits me perfectly. I'm stoked to have it in my case. It's a mean one for sure. Yeah, it's angry. It's and it plays angry. It sounds unreal, dude. That Seymour Duncan, the blackout sounds yeah. insane. I've never I've never played with that pickup before, so you know, there's always the, the the new first time. I'm trying something new. I'm wondering, am I gonna revert to what I normally use? No, that's staying right there. That is an unbelievable pickup. Tell me about the uh, the other guitar you got with you for this run. So I got the MSV1 with me, uh, which is a fucking like heavy metal dream guitar like when I when I think of what I grew up with posters on my wall of it was like guitars that look like that it's like by far by far the sexiest uh, sexiest like picturesque guitar um, <laughs> the arrow shape has been like my go-to forever mm -hmm. so it was a natural when that got announced in the Olympic white and the fact it's Mikey's I'm like okay that's that's the guitar I the need guy. that one um, and I played I played it like 20 nights in a row on a US tour and that thing was a warrior and like it's not just about photos, but dude, that thing looks fucking awesome in photos. I would agree with you. You know, I, that guitar is like a very cool mix of like, again, like the arrow shape, this really yeah. aggressive shape with more of like a uh, maybe a cl more classic kind of finish. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is just a very cool combination. Single pickup, it's just you know one knob, all you need. And, and the like the little the, the touches as well. There's so much attention, like the old school the old school volume knob. Yep. Like that's like <laughs> such a move. The, it, it's it's placement. It's the way it looks. The mm. way it functions. It's like just old school to the max. And as you say, in like more of like a new school body. It's merging yeah. of my two favorite worlds, man. Old school, the old school, new school. Love it. That's what we do. Yeah, man. Tell me, uh, so you've been on tour with Exciter for a little bit in Europe. How, how's it been? You know, how long you've been out here? What's coming up for you guys? Um, it's been incredible. It's been a really insane schedule. We like to come here and see as many maniacs as we can see in like a three-week span. So it's one day off. I'm spending it here, hanging out and watching more bands and just meeting all sorts of other rad dudes who play ESP guitars. Um, we got another week of shows coming up in Germany. We got fat we got huge ass festival in Italy. We're playing with Priest one night. It's just like really, really crazy. Uh, lots of cool shit coming up and we're back in Europe in August. We got North American stuff in July. Dude, we're keeping busy and uh, thanks to thanks to ESP I got an arsenal of guitars I can bring on tour and play these insane schedules with little little to no time for maintenance and it doesn't matter they are like machines dude because they're built for war and they go through hell every night love hearing that man that's way cool so daniel tell us why do you play esp guitars that's like the easiest question in the world they're the best go goddamn guitars of all time fair enough yeah you you guys are the best you understand what we actually need it's mm -hmm. it's uh it's a company for players and that's what it's all about you guys get it you listen you innovate you create they look pretty fucking awesome too totally. you're taking the things i love about the classic guitars and making them like so in tune with what's going on in the world right now versus there's a lot of people who are stuck in the past and don't evolve this mm -hmm. is a company that's constantly evolving and fucking kills it every time Awesome. Well, thanks for the kind words, man, and we really appreciate you, you know, playing ESP and supporting us for so many years. So, excited to see you the next time you're in LA. Have a good rest of your tour here in Europe, and uh, thanks for taking a couple minutes to talk with us here at Hellfest. Tony, you're the man. I'm in.